Ah, good morning from Alabama Hills. I rolled in here last night after exploring some nearby uranium mines, kind of nearby, in the Costco wilderness. And when I rolled in here, I still had my Radicode 103G on, just tracking the radiation on my trip. And I noticed that this area has a kind of an elevated level of radiation that has to do with the rocks in this location, which look like they're mainly composed of granite. And so that's going to have naturally occurring uranium in these rocks, which is a lot higher than I was expecting. Uh, and it's also surprising to me because I used to come here and camp and shoot time lapse all the time. Now the radiation in these granite igneous rocks isn't harmful. It's not going to give you cancer, it's not going to do anything like that. It's just something that's naturally occurring. And it's here. So are the bugs. <laughs> but yeah, it was surprising to see this level of radiation when I, when I came here because I've been coming here for years. And so it's kind of fascinating how a place from my past they used to come and shoot time lapse at and photos and fly drones around at is actually radioactive. But I mean I guess it makes sense just you don't realize how radioactive the world is just the world around you until you go exploring it and finding out more about it. So Alabama Hills is actually a very famous area. Uh, they filmed a lot of uh, westerns here, sci-fi movies, uh, back in the 50s, the 60s, and maybe uh, before that. <laughs> this place has a very extensive uh, film and uh, TV history. In fact, I think this road that I'm nearby is like called like Movie Way or something like that. This area is also where the portal for Mount Whitney is, where a lot of uh, people go to summit Mount Whitney, you know, where the, where the beginning of the trail is. And that's what they usually call the portal. And Mount Whitney is the highest peak in the lower 48. And it gets a lot of action. A lot of people climb Mount Whitney. And so a lot of people visit Alabama Hills as well. It's a very cool place. Lots of, um, rock climbers. I see lots of rock climbers out here. That's a very fun place to do like some bouldering, which is just climbing over big rocks. <laughs> and it's a nice place to camp. It's, it's beautiful and uh, the camping out here is actually free. And it's, it's mainly just open lands. It's not a national park, uh, which is nice because it makes it, you can have more uses for this area and it's not so controlled. Well, I'm going to do some exploring and see if I can find any other areas that are a little more radioactive than what I'm seeing here. But right now I'm uh, gathering information for a gamma spectroscopy. So what that is, is that it's examining the gamma radiation to see what radioactive isotope is in these rocks or isotopes because it's usually like a whole bunch of them. But right now, so far, it's looking like it's uranium and not thorium. So by no means am I saying avoid Alabama Hills because it's radioactive, because the radioactivity is so low, it's not going to do anything to anybody, ever. You can live out here your whole life, and it would have zero effect on you. And this isn't from fallout, it isn't from nuclear testing or anything like that. This is just naturally occurring uh, radiation that's coming from the rocks. And that's how our world is. Our world is a radioactive one and shouldn't be feared, just understood. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.